dear friends once again it's very very hearty and warm welcome friends in this our today's lecture we are going to study about post mendelian genetics that is the genetics after the mendelian era the post mendelian genetics may be known as neo mendelian genetics or may be known as non mendelian genetics which topics we have to study under this title that i am going to tell you just within 1 minute so first of all let us start and let me write the title of this topic that is post mendelian genetics post stands for after or neo mendelian genetics neo stands for new or modern this post mendelian genetics or neo mendelian genetics i told you also known as non mendelian genetics now let me explain you what we have to study in this topic dear friends in the initial part of this chapter while studying the mendel's experiment mendel's laws we have seen that the mendel perform different experiments on garden pea plant mendel perform different crosses on the garden pea plant such as mono hybrid cross di hybrid cross test cross back cross etc and also he obtained the different types of ratios such as mono hybrid ratio di hybrid ratio test cross ratio mono hybrid test cross ratio di hybrid test cross ratio etc etc and on the basis of data and on the basis of results he collected through his experiments through his crosses he proposed different laws that is laws of inheritance already we have completed that study already we have studied about all those mendelian laws of inheritance but after mendel many different geneticists repeated mendel's experiment by using some other organisms it means many geneticists after mendel perform different experiments perform different crosses as mendel had performed on garden pea plant but by using some other organism by using some other plants animals and also by considering different traits when these modern geneticist perform experiment perform crosses on other organisms at that time they observe they got some deviations they observe some modifications changes exceptions to the mendelian mono hybrid ratio mendelian di hybrid ratio you know that the mendelian mono hybrid ratio is 3s to 1 and mendelian di hybrid ratio is 9s to 3s to 3s to 1 but now here these modern geneticists they observe some different ratios during mono hybrid cross during di hybrid cross perform on other organism and on the basis of their observation on the basis of their observation different patterns of inheritance or different gene interactions were discovered try to understand javela ya modern geneticists ne mendel ne ja paddhatine garden pea plant var prayog kele hote experiment kele hote crosses kele hote tyas paddhatine tis paddhat vaprun itar sajivan var itar vanaspati ani pranyan var prayog kele arthat te prayog kelya nantar matra या जेनेटिसिस्ट या मॉडर्न जेनेटिसिस्ट ला मेंडेल ने जो मोनो हाइब्रिड क्रॉस रेशो डाय हाइब्रिड क्रॉस रेशो शोधला होता त्याच्यापेक्षा काही वेगळे रिझल्ट मिळाले त्याच्यापेक्षा काहीतरी वेगळे रेशो मिळाले आणि याच्या आधारावर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दॅट मॉडिफाईड रेशोज द जेनेटिसिस्ट दे पुट फोर्थ दे इस्टॅब्लिश दे डिस्कवर्ड सर्टन न्यू पॅटर्न ऑफ इनहेरिटन्स सर्टन न्यू जीन इंटरॅक्शन अर्थात 
या शास्त्रज्ञांना जे नवनवीन रेशोज मिळाले मेंढेपेक्षा जे वेगळे होते मेंढेच्या मोनोहायब्रिड डाय डायहायब्रिड रेशोपेक्षा जे वेगळे होते त्याच्या आधारावर त्यांनी इनहेरिटन्स अनुमुशिकतेच्या संदर्भातले काही नवीन सिद्धांत मांडले काही नवीन पॅटर्न्स त्यांनी शोधून काढले काही नवीन जीन इंटरॅक्शन्स शोधून काढल्या ऍक्च्युली इन दिस टॉपिक वी पीपल हॅव टू स्टडी अबाउट दॅट डिफरंट जीन इंटरॅक्शन्स डिफरंट जीन इंटरॅक्शन्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू द मिनिंग ऑफ दिस टर्म जीन इंटरॅक्शन्स मिनिंग इज व्हेरी सिम्पल जीन इंटरॅक्शन्स मीन्स वॉट इट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ वन जीन ऑन द फिनोटायपिक एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ अदर जीन or in another words the modification in the phenotypic expression of one gene due to the influence due to the effect of other gene arthat eka gene cha prabhava mule influence mule parinama mule dusrya gene cha expression var dusra gene jo gundharma niyantrit karto e tyacha var kahi tari parinam hone yala thodkyat matla jata gene interaction now these modern genetic discovered two different types of gene interactions two different types of gene interactions actually these modern geneticists discovered so many different types of gene interactions but that all different gene interactions are classified into two main types such as the first one is called as intragenic intragenic or interallelic intragenic or interallelic gene interactions intragenic or interallelic gene interactions what does it mean intragenic or interallelic gene interactions means the interactions occur between the alleles of same gene the alleles of same gene all of you are known what are alleles what is allelomorph we have studied initially we know that alleles means pair of genes located at the corresponding loci on homologous chromosomes known as the alleles let me explain you suppose here is any pair of homologous chromosome and here at the corresponding loci here are presence of suppose this pair of genes capital t small t you know here capital t and small t are alleles of each other so the interaction between the two alleles of the same gene is known as interallelic interaction interallelic interaction now there are so many different examples of intragenic or interallelic gene interactions such as incomplete dominance incomplete dominance second codominance or multiple alleles so we people have to study here about these three different interallelic gene interactions second type of gene interactions is intergenic or non allelic intergenic or non allelic gene interactions intergenic or non allelic just try to understand we have seen that intragenic or interallelic means these are the interactions between the two alleles of the same gene two alleles of the same gene or in short the interactions between alleles two alleles is that clear now here intergenic or non allelic means what these interactions occur between the alleles of different genes may be located on the same chromosome or another chromosome let me explain you suppose here i am going to show three different pairs of homologous chromosome consider here is one allelic pair of genes capital t small t suppose on this chromosome here is another pair of genes rr suppose here is again 
another pair of jeans capital Y small y. Now you can understand that here capital T and small t are alleles of each other. According to the modern concept, even capital R, capital R, these are also alleles. Here capital Y, small y, these are also alleles of each other. But T, T, R, R, Y, Y, all these are not the alleles of each other. Isn't it? Because all these are the different genes. So whenever the interaction is seen between the different alleles of different genes, or we can say the interaction occur between the genes present on same chromosome or different chromosome is known as intergenic or non-allelic interaction. Is that clear? My yatikani upon asa samzun gitla ki javela homologous chromosome were asnaya alleles madhe za interaction disatasil antar kriya disatasil. तो तेला मतलब जाए इंट्राजेनिक कि वह इंटर अलेली अनि जा वेला एकास क्रोमोसोम वर असली लिया कि वह वेग-वेगरा क्रोमोसोम वर असली लिया वेग-वेगरा जीन्स मधेशर ते अंतर प्रिया इंटरेक्शन दिस तस्तील तो तेला मतलब जाए इंटरजेनिक कि वह नॉन अलेली इंटरेक्शन देर आर सो मेनी डिफरेंट एग्जांपल्स ऑफ नॉन � Epistasis, pleiotropy, polygenes, these all are the examples of non-allelic intergenic gene interactions. We people have to study here about incomplete dominance, co-dominance, multiple alleles and only one example of intergenic interaction that is pleiotropy. It may be called pleiotropism. So now let us start the study of first example of intragenic or interallelic gene interaction that is incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance. Listen carefully. We people have studied about the complete dominance in Mendelism. You know that according to the law of dominance in hybrid or heterozygous individual, in hybrid or heterozygous individual, one gene is completely dominant and other gene is completely recessive. Means what? One gene completely dominates, completely suppresses the effect of other gene. And we know the gene which completely dominates the effect of other gene in that allelic pair is called dominant gene. And the gene whose expression is completely masked, suppressed, it is not allowed for expression, is known as recessive gene. You know this phenomenon is called complete dominance. But incomplete dominance states that incomplete dominance चार दृष्टि ने या ठीक आने आपने लगा है समझूं ये इसे incomplete dominance is the phenomenon in which the genes present in allelic pair the genes present in allelic pair are not completely dominant or completely recessive. The genes present in allelic pair are not completely dominant or completely recessive. Means what? Both the genes express partially. Please listen this term carefully. Both the genes in that allelic pair express partially. That's our thought. क्या ठिकानी क्या जीन चा जोड़ी में दे एलएस चा जोड़ी में दे असनारे जे दोन जीन सहे क्या कोई कि एक जीन पूर्णतः हार डोमिनेंट अनि दूसरा जीन पूर्णतः हार रिसेसियो मनुन कार्य करत नहीं इफेक्ट दाखवत नहीं तो दोगे ही जीन क्या ठिकानी त्यंसा पार्शियल इफेक्ट दाखोता दोगे ही जीन क्या ठिकानी पार्शि� and that's why that individual, that heterozygous individual shows intermediate expression 
to the genes or we to the traits controlled by both the genes. Please try to understand. I am going to explain you by giving one suitable example. Let us take the example. In 4 o'clock plant, you know, its scientific name is Mirabilis Jalapa. Its local name is Vargulbansi. In this Mirabilis Jalapa, there are two varieties of plant. There are two varieties of plant, such as the variety, one variety with completely red flowers, that is red flowered variety, red flowered plant and another white flowered variety. Now when this red flowered variety is crossed with white flowered variety, if the capital R capital R is the genotype of red flowered variety and small r small r is the genotype of white flowered variety. Then after crossing, you know that during crossing, during fertilization, initially it occurs the gamete formation, gametogenesis. As these both parent plants are pure homozygous, so they produce identical gametes. All gametes produced by red flowered variety are same, that is with capital R and all gametes produced by white flowered variety are also same, that is with small r. So after fertilization, the F1 individual produced is with genotype capital R, small r, but phenotype pink colored flowers. Pink colored flowers. Now just try to understand. Here, this F1 individual show capital R, small r. That is the gene for red flowers as well as the gene for white flowers. And here, these both genes have expressed partially. Both genes have expressed partially. Means these F1 individuals have neither completely red flowers nor completely white flowers. There is a intermediate character, intermediate phenotypic expression seen to the both parents or we can say both the genes. Hence here this pink colored flower is due to the incomplete dominance, incomplete dominance. Now if this F1 plant is self-crossed, self-crossed, capital R, small r, crossed with capital R, small r, we know that such heterozygous individuals produce two types of gametes, 50% with capital R, 50% with small r, same. Now, let us find the F2 individuals by preparing checkerboard. Here I am going to prepare. We know that in this checkerboard we have to write the gametes of male individual along the top, suppose capital R, small r and the gametes of female parent along the left side, capital R, small r. So, let us represent the union of gametes. Capital R, capital R, capital R, small r, capital R, small r and small r, small r. Now we know that and just you notice capital R, capital R. Here in that allelic pair both genes are same that is capital R, capital R. So obviously it is a red flower individual. Here capital R, small r, capital R, small r. So according to the incomplete dominance these individuals show pink colored flowers okay and here the small r small r white now let us write about the phenotypic and genotypic ratio according to this incomplete dominance now here you can notice that the genotype of one individual is capital r capital r 1 capital R small r 2 and small r small r 1. So 
द जीनोटाइपिक रेशो ड्यू टू द इनकम्प्लीट डॉमिनेंस इज वन एस टू टू एस टू वन एंड फिनोटाइपिक रेशो दट इज बाय कंसिडरिंग द फिनोटाइप How many red flowered plants are there? If two individuals are there, red one, pink two, and white one. So phenotypic ratio is also one as to two as to one, isn't it? Now you have to understand. You have to remember that according to the Mendel's mono hybrid cross and according to the complete dominance. You know, phenotypic monohybrid cross ratio is three as to one. But now, here, due to incomplete dominance, that ratio get modified to the one as to two as to one. In the same manner, here the genotypic ratio is one as to two as to one. Now, this modification, this modification in the phenotypic monohybrid ratio is due to the incomplete dominance so here by considering this example of mirabili jalapa we have studied what is incomplete dominance before going to the codominance let me tell you once again the definition of incomplete dominance incomplete dominance is the phenomenon in which both the genes in allelic pair appear or express partially and thus the f1 or hybrid individual show intermediate character intermediate phenotypic expression than both of the parent individual it means neither one is dominant nor other is recessive so here we have studied about the incomplete dominance now let us move to the second that is codominance so now let us talk about the second example of intragenic or interallelic gene interactions codominance is the phenomenon in which both the genes in allelic pair express equally and independently both the genes in allelic pair express equally and independently just try to understand and that's why the f1 individual shows intermixed phenotypic expression shows intermixed phenotypic expression once again i am going to repeat the meaning or definition of codominance codominance is the phenomenon in which both the genes in allelic pair express themselves equally and independently याचा अर्थ त्या अलेलिक पेअर मध्ये असणारे जे दोन जीन्स आहेत ते दोघही सारख्याच प्रमाणात आणि स्वतंत्र रित्या एफ वन इंडिव्हिज्युअल मध्ये एक्सप्रेस होतात आणि म्हणून त्या एफ वन इंडिव्हिज्युअल मध्ये दोन्ही जीन्स सारख्याच प्रमाणात एक्सप्रेशन पाहायला मिळतं द एफ वन इंडिव्हिज्युअल शोज द इंटर मिक्सिंग ऑफ फिनोटाइपिक एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ बोथ द जीन्स इन अलेलिक पेअर अलेलिक पेअर मध्ये असणाऱ्या दोन्ही जीन्स इंटर मिक्स एक्सप्रेशन त्या ठिकाणी एफ वन इंडिव्हिज्युअल मध्ये पाहायला मिळतो अँड वी कॅन अंडरस्टँड दिस को डॉमिनन्स बाय कन्सिडरिंग द एक्झाम्पल सो लेट मी टेल यू द एक्झाम्पल इन कॅटल्स देर आर two types of coat color coat color is observed coat color means simply the skin hair color skin hair color is called coat color now in cattle there are two types of coat color such as the red coat color and white coat color means some of the cattles are observed with completely red coat color completely red coat color and some of the cattles with completely white coat color i said coat color means simply the skin hair color skin hair color now if the genotype of red coat colored cattle 
is capital R capital R and if the genotype of white coat colored cattle is capital W capital W. Now when the crossing is carried out between the red coat colored and white coat colored cattle then red coat colored cattle produces all gametes identical that is of capital R and here capital W. After fertilization the F1 individuals the F1 individuals with genotype RW and phenotype roan coat color appear roan coat color F1 individuals show roan coat color roan coat color means intermixing of patches of red as well as white means these F1 individuals are neither completely red coat color nor completely white coat color but they show the intermixing of small patches of red and white it is called roan coat color now you might have understood here in this gene pair that is capital R and capital W both genes have expressed equally and independently ya thikani ya gene pair madhe dodi hi genes he equally and independently express jale ani ya doga genes ne tancha ya thikani complete expression dakhole because of capital R there is appearance of red color patches and because of w this gene there is appearance of white colored patches it means in this gene pair both the genes have expressed equally and independently and such genes are called as the co dominant genes and the phenomenon is known as the co dominance please try to understand in our first gene interaction while studying incomplete dominance i told you that in incomplete dominance both the genes in allelic pair express partially and that's why the f1 individual so intermediate phenotypic expression than both of the parents to both of the parents but here both the genes express equally and independently and that's why such intermixed phenotypic expression is seen now if this f1 individual is allowed for self crossing self crossing now it's very easy for us rw cross with rw here the gametes of two types 50% with capital r 50% with capital w now to obtain f2 let us prepare the checker board as usual let us write the gametes of male individual along the top capital r w and of female gametes along the left side capital r w so capital r capital r here capital r capital w here capital r w and finally w w let us find the phenotype very simple capital r capital r red coat color capital r w we know that here these both genes expressed equally and independently so here roan coat color here also roan coat color and w w with white coat color okay so now let us write once again the genotypic ratio and phenotypic ratio genotypic ratio and phenotypic ratio now it is very common to us we are aware how to write so first of all just find the genotypic ratio that is with respect to the genotype of f2 individuals capital r capital r 1 capital r w 2 and ww1 so 
Here, the genotypic ratio is 1s2, 2s2, 1. Let us write phenotypic ratio by considering the phenotype. Red 1, roll 2 and white 1. Means here, the phenotypic ratio is also 1s2, 2s2, 1. Just like the incomplete dominance. थोड़ा वाला पूर्व अपन incomplete dominance शिख लो अने incomplete dominance मधे सुधा अपन पायलर कि mono hybrid genotypic ratio one s to two s to one आला होता phenotypic ratio सुधा one s to two s to one आला होता अने यार ठीक आने सुधा co dominance मुडे त्यास प्रकार से ratio आले ले means due to the incomplete dominance and due to the co dominance the Mendelian monohybrid cross ratio get modified. Isn't it? I want to recall. We know the Mendelian monohybrid phenotypic ratio is 3 to 1. Mendelian monohybrid phenotypic ratio is 3 to 1. And here in incomplete dominance as well as co-dominance, the phenotypic ratio get modified to 1 as to 2 as to 1. As well as genotypic ratio is also 1s2, 2s2, 1 in both incomplete dominance and here in co-dominance. So here we have understood the meaning of co-dominance. Before going to the third gene interaction, once again I am going to tell you the definition. Co-dominance is the phenomenon in which both the genes in allelic pair express equally and independently and thus the F1 individual shows intermixed phenotypic expression. Intermixed phenotypic expression. That's all about the codominance. Now, let us move to the next gene interaction that is multiple alleles. Come to the next multiple alleles. According to the Mendel's concept of inheritance. According to the Mendel's concept of inheritance, single gene has only two alternative forms. That is, single gene has only two alleles. Am I right? We have studied in Mendelism. According to the Mendel's concept of inheritance, Mendel's Chamanya Nusar Mendel Eka Jin Chi Fakta Don Veg Vegli Swarupa Asu Shakta Artha Tanapan Allens Asamanto Mandya Far Farta Donuts Swarupa Eka Jin Chi Shakche Two alternative forms of the same gene, isn't it? That is, two allens are possible. But what are multiple allens? Multiple allens means many allens. Name itself indicates. Multiple allele means the gene has many different forms. A single gene has many different forms, many different alleles. It means a single gene shows many different forms that all different forms of the same gene are known as the multiple alleles. Actually, here in multiple allele, the normal gene that is wild gene, normal gene or wild gene is always dominant. Let me explain you. Suppose capital A is one of the wild genes. Capital A how wild gene. The wild gene is you know normal gene or the gene which occurs naturally in that organism, widely occurring in a population, isn't it? And always dominant is known as the wild gene. Due to the mutation of this wild gene, the wild gene the mutation the population population त्या सजीवांचा पॉप्युलेशन मध्ये त्याचे अनेक वेगवेगळे स्वरूप निर्माण झालेले आढळतात 
means due to the mutation, due to the sudden change in the structure of this wild gene, it may get converted into many different forms. Such as we can say it may get converted into small a or a1 or a2 or a3, whatever it may be. Now, all these genes are called as the mutant genes. These are mutant genes. Try to understand. These mutant genes are always recessive to the dominant gene, to the normal gene. Please try to understand. It means when a gene has many different forms in the population of any particular organism, then that are known as multiple alleles. Javadela, ekhadya sajivacha population made ekaz gene chi anek vegvegli surupo pahila mitta javadela tya sagadyanna multiple alleles asamanta multiple stands for the many. Ata yati kani aplyala multiple alleles samzum jine sati a suitable example consider karai se that is of drosophila. You might be known that Drosophila, it is also called as fruit fly. It is a very small creature. It is a very small insect. And in this Drosophila, five different types of wings are observed. Five different types of wings are observed in the population of Drosophila. Let me explain you. Such as the normal wings normal wings. Now the normal wings, the expression of normal wings is controlled by dominant gene, wild gene that is VG plus. So consider this VG plus, it represents the dominant gene, normal gene or we can say wild gene. Is that clear? And it is responsible for the expression of normal wings in Drosophila. I said just now Drosophila it is simply a small insect and we know that the insects always show two pairs of wings. Always show two pairs of wings. Suppose here these are the normal wings. Diagrammatically I am going to show. These are supposed to be the normal wings. Okay. Now another type of wings are seen among the population of Drosophila such as Nicle wings. Nicle wings. And it is controlled, the expression of Nicle wings is controlled by mutant gene VGNI. Here NI, it stands for the Nicle. Nicle in the sense, diagrammatically I can show once again. The wings are not exactly normal but they show a shallow notch. They show a shallow notch. Nicle wings. Next type of wings such as notched wings. Notched wings. Controlled by another mutant gene VGNO. Here NO stands for notched wings. Let me show here diagrammatically the wings show such a deep notch you can see deep notch is seen of course notched wings are also produced due to the recessive gene mutant gene VGNO then strap wings strap wings this character is controlled by again another mutant gene VGST strap in the sense here here that drosophila shows strip like wings strip like wings and another type that is vestigial wings controlled by gene VG simply VG vestigial in the sense the wings are highly reduced. Wings are almost absent or wings are highly reduced. Let me show diagrammatically. Wings are highly reduced. Is that clear? 
So here I am telling you that in Drosophila, in this small creature fruit fly, five different types of wings are seen in the population and that five different types of wings are controlled by different genes, different forms of the same gene that is dominant gene VG+. Means we can say this dominant gene VG+, has in all 1, 2, 3 and 4 alleles. Many forms of the same gene. So it represents example of multiple alleles. Another suitable example is there. That is of ABO blood groups in human being. ABO blood groups in human being. Though its detailed study and explanation description is not given in our textbook. Let, let, let me tell you briefly. All of you might be known that according to the ABO blood group system in human beings, four different types of blood groups are identified. According to the ABO blood group system in human beings, four different types of blood groups have been identified such as A, B, AB and O. Actually, the blood group in human being is depend upon the type and nature of glycoprotein molecules that is antigens on the surface of RBC. Blood group kashaur alungu nastu, blood group kashaur in tharaula zatu. Arthak tya vyakti cha blood madhe asna raja RBC zahet, red blood cells zahet, tya RBC zwar. Sumda ya tikani ya RBC hai. Tya RBC zwar kukhla prakar cha antigens zahet. Antigen means actually these are glycoprotein molecules. Glycoprotein molecule. And human being made, don't promote prakarche glycoprotein molecules RBCs or adulta. And the don't prakarche promote antigens RBC or adulta. Tana capital A and capital B as now the way. Artha, the human beings in which A antigen is present, blood group A. Javakti cha RBC or A high antigen as a that's a blood group A. Ja vyakti cha RBC var fakt B ya prakar cha antigen sastil. That's a blood group B. The individual in which both the antigens are present A as well as B on the surface of RBC. Blood group is AB. And those human beings, those individuals in which the antigens are absent. Blood group considered as O means here actually the blood group of human being is identified on the basis of type and nature of antigens. Antigens are nothing but the glycoprotein molecules present on the surface of RBC. Now the expression of this character that is antigen production of antigen is controlled by dominant gene capital I. Means capital I, it is the normal gene, it is the wild gene and it has three different forms such as IA, IB and small i. There are three we can say alleles here. Now IA is responsible to control for the formation of antigen A. IB this gene is responsible for the production, for the formation of antigen B while small i is recessive gene and as it is recessive it cannot form or it is not responsible for the formation of any antigen. So very simple here the individual with blood group A definitely shows this gene capital I A the individual with blood group B shows gene I, B. The individual with AB shows both IA, IB. Now mind well, here IA and IB, these both show co-dominance. When they are present togetherly, Zarte Doga Ekatrasti, Mandya Samna Ya individual Made, Gene Chi Zudia Ashi, Tartha, Ya Tikani, capital. A and capital B, these two genes are the co-dominance. Now we can see the co-dominance. Both the genes in allelic pair 
एक्सप्रेस इक्वली एंड इंडिपेन्डंटली दोनों जीन्स सारखाच इफेक्ट दाखोत इंडिव्यूजल्स मध्य एंटीजेन ए पैर हो एंटीजेन बी पैर हो ब्लड ग्रुप ए बी ए नाउ हियर इन दिस इंडिव्यूजल ब्लड ग्रुप ओ इफ हियर इज स्मॉल आय स्मॉल आय दैट इज बोथ द जीन्स रिसेसिव समझा दो जीन्स रिसेसिव है जर दो जीन रिसेसिव है तो देर इज नो चान्स ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनी एंटीजेन कुछ एंटीजेन तैयार हो रहा नहीं एंड एज हियर एंटीजेन इज एबसेंट दैट्स वाय ब्लड ग्रुप इज ओ आई विल से जीरो ओ मे जीरो ओ मन जीरो एबसेंस ऑफ एंटीजेन ए एज वेल एज एंटीजेन बी सो हियर यू कैन से सींगल जीन हेज थ्री डिफरंट अल्टरनेटिव फॉर्म्स एंड दिस एबीओ ब्लड ग्रुप सीस्टीम एबीओ ब्लड ग्रुप इन ह्यूमन बींग ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंट एक्जाम्पल ऑफ मल्टीपल एलेट्स सो हियर वे हेव कम्प्लीटेड द स्टडी ऑफ three different examples of intragenic or interallelic gene interactions that is incomplete dominance codominance and multiple alleles now we have to study one example of intergenic or non allelic gene interactions that is pleiotropy or pleiotropism so let us see about it pleiotropism let me explain it. according to the mendel's principle of unit character according to the mendel's principle of unit character mendel che je teen laws of inheritance apan shiklo hai tyacha vyatirikt ha ek law hai that is the law of unit character and according to this mendel's law of unit character one gene controls only one trait one gene controls only one trait that's our the mendel cha law of unit character nusar ek gene fakt ekas gundharma niyantrit karu shakto but when single gene controls two or more than two characters when single gene controls two or more than two characters then such gene is called pleiotropic gene listen carefully what is pleiotropic gene when single gene controls two or more than two related or unrelated characters then such gene is known as pleiotropic gene and characters controlled by pleiotropic gene are called pleiotropic characters and the phenomenon is known as pleiotropism or pleiotropy in human being this pleiotropism is exhibited by a syndrome sickle cell anemia means we have to understand this phenomenon pleiotropism by considering the example of sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia it is actually autosomal hereditary disease in human being let me explain you sickle cell anemia how the disease are sickle cell anemia manava madhe adhalnara atta mi asa matla it is autosomal hereditary disease it is hereditary disease ha mushik roge it is transmitted from one generation to another and it is autosomal autosomal in the sense it is caused due to the pleiotropic gene present on autosome you know autosome means the chromosome which control general body characters now sickle cell anemia is characterized by sickle cell anemia is characterized by formation of sickle shaped rbcs formation of sickle shaped rbcs in no oxygen condition yacha arth tya vyakti la jo oxygen cha purvatha yogya pramanat hot nasel tar tya vyakti madhe 
सिकल शेप्ड आरबीसी तैयार होता आता सिकल शेप्ड मे यू माइट बी नोन सिकल दैट इज साइट इन मराठी विड़ा कोयता यू नो इट इज यूज फॉर द रिपिंग व्हीट और फॉर द कटिंग ऑफ ग्रास इज एंट इट मीन्स इट शेप इज समॉट लाइक दिस इन दिस मैन सिकल शेप आरबीसी यू नो दैट आरबीसी दैट इज रेड ब्लड सेल्स लाल रक्त पेशी यूजली द नॉर्मल आरबीसी शो ओवल शेप ओवल एंड डिस्कलाइक बट हियर इन दिस डिज सिकल सेल एनिमिया अंडर लो ऑक्सीजन कंडीशन द आरबीसी फॉर्म सिकल शेप द म्यूटन जीन रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू कॉज द म्यूटन जीन रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू कॉज द सिकल सेल एनिमिया इज एच बी एस दिस म्यूटन जीन एच बी एस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू कॉज सिकल शेप आरबीसी रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू कॉज दिस सिकल सेल एनिमिया वाई the normal gene dominant gene is hba normal gene is hba ata ya thikane aplya lakshat ghe normal gene is hba now if the individual is having genotype hba hbs that is heterozygote heterozygous individual this individual shows mild anemia in low oxygen concentration jar tya vyakti madhe asha prakarcha genotype asla hba hbs ta artha tya vyakti madhe mild anemia disto kevha when there is a less availability of oxygen is that clear and that individual so normal condition or that individual remains normal if oxygen is properly available now if the individual is having genotype hbs hbs that is both mutant genes in homozygous condition jar ekhaja vyakti madhe doni mutant genes he homozygous condition madhe asle तो ऑब्विस्ली दैट इंडिविजुअल शोज सीवियर टाइप ऑफ एनेमिया एनेमिया ये अर्थ तुम्हारा महत एनेमिया या डिज मधे रक्त आरबीसी च प्रमाण अर्थात हिमोग्लोबीन च प्रमाण खूब कमी होते पर पुरेसा प्रमाण ऑक्सीजन प्रत्येक सेल पर्यत वहन ने एंड अल्टिमेटली इट लीड्स टू द डेथ मैं ये the individual with genotype hbs hbs shows the severe type of anemia and that's why that individual cannot survive dies off and that's why this type of disease is called fatal anemia fatal anemia in the sense it can cause the death of that individual now here you can see the gene hbs if present along with normal gene hba then shows mild anemia in low oxygen condition and normal character okay in normal oxygen condition why if this hbs gene is present in pair then it is responsible to cause the फैटल एनिमिया परिस्थित वेगवेगे गुणधर्म निर्णित करते जर एच बी ए बरबर है फिर माइल्ड एनिमिया होंड देर इज लेस थ्रीट टू द लाइफ ऑफ दैट इंडिविजुअल जर तो होमोजाइगस कंडीशन मध्य आला तो ऑब्विस्ली व्यक्ति का मृत्यु हो ज्या जीन मुठिका होमोजाइगस कंडीशन मध्य मृत्यु हो एचबीएस जीन लिथल जीन अनू शकत प्लिओट्रॉपिक जीन मैं सुरुआती प्लिओट्रॉपिक जीन ये अर्थ द जीन विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू कंट्रोल टू और मोर दैन टू कैरेक्टर्स टू और मोर दैन टू कैरेक्टर्स सो हियर वी हेव सीन नाउ इफ द मैरेज ऑफ such heterozygous individual occur 
समझा अच्छा हिट्रोजाइगस इंडिविजुअल मैरेज घड़ू आल ठीक है लेट मी शो सपोज एच बी ए एच बी एस एच बी ए एच बी एस एक्चुअली दीज हेट्रोजाइगस इंडिविजुअल्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कैरियर्स बिकॉज दे कैरी दैट जीन इज दैट क्लियर स्वतः बरबर जीन कैरी करते ना टू टाइप्स ऑफ गैमेट्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एज यूजल एच बी ए एच बी एस ठीक है सो लेट एस फाइंड द इंडिविजुअल्स गैमेट्स यूनियन घड़ू आहो कशा प्रकार के इंडिविजुअल्स पॉसिबल है तो बहुत एज यूजल एच बी एच बी एस एच बी एच बी एस एच बी एच बी एर एच बी एस सॉरी एच बी ए नॉर्मल जीन फर्स्ट एच बी एस हियर अगेन एच बी ए एच बी एस एंड हियर एच बी एस एच बी एस नाउ हियर इन दिस इंडिविजुअल बोथ जीन्स आर नॉर्मल बोथ जीन्स आर वी कैन से डॉमिनेंट वाइड एंड दैट्स वाई दिस इंडिविजुअल इज नॉर्मल विदाउट एनेमिया this individual and this individual in heterozygous condition show mild anemia mild anemia here also mild and here this individual with hbs gene mutant gene in homozygous condition show fatal anemia fatal anemia and that's why this individual in homozygous condition cannot survive up to the puberty up to the maturity and dies off before to that means this anemic individual dies off so practically only three individuals are possible such as normal one and two individuals with mild anemia mild anemia and therefore the ratio obtained among these individuals is represented as 2 as to 1 2 as to 1 you know that the normal phenotypic ratio according to the mendel is 3 as to 1 but here that get modified to the 2 as to 1 because of we can say pleiotropy because of pleiotropy gene and we have to remember this thing the 3 as to 1 ratio get modified to 2s to 1 because of pleiotropism that's all about one example of pleiotropism so here we have completed the study of post mendelian genetics so let us stop here and take all of you great care of yourself thank you